Classroom libraries come in all shapes and sizes. Most of them contain books, I imagine, but my classroom library is special to me and I have a very specific way of using it. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my philosophy behind my classroom library coming up. What's going on? Kyle Thane here and welcome to another Tuesday teaching tip video where every Tuesday I share with you a teaching tip or strategy that I'm currently using in my classroom and today I'm going to talk about my classroom library. So my class, this is my classroom library right here. You'll see there's not a whole lot going on. I've got, that's it, this is it. So where are all my picture books? Where are all those things? Where are, where are all my read aloud books? Well the answer is they're in the library and they're not mine. I borrow them. So this is a personal choice that I've made as a minimalist. Um, I don't need to have hundreds and hundreds of books. Let me let me say that if you are the type of teacher that has a great, wonderful classroom library where it's themed out by unit or genre or leveled out, and you a and you actually use that library and the kids use it, and that's part of your classroom and that brings you value, more power to you. That's awesome. I'm just here to I'm just here to show an alternate point. There's more than one way to do things in teaching. We all don't have to fit into the same mold. If you're that type of teacher that has a great big classroom library, that is awesome. But me, I don't need that. I don't. I choose not to do that. Instead, I have all of these leveled readers that I've leveled myself A through D, and these are the books that I'm going to be using in my classroom for my guided reading lessons. Now, if I need a read aloud book, I will check with another teacher. I will check with the library at our school. I'll check with the public library in our town, and I'll make sure that I can get that book, and then I'll return it. I personally, I personally don't feel the need to hang on to that book. In my opinion, it just it fills up too much space. It's just not part of what brings me value to my classroom and as a minimalist I just try to have what I need nothing more So I will use every single one of these books at some point this year starting with a all the way to E. These are the books that I'll be using. The students will be using them. They'll be taking them home. They're gonna get used a lot. And that's the point of my classroom library is I didn't want anything in my classroom library that I wasn't going to use. In the past, I've had classroom libraries. I had them in different bins. This is my, this is my, all the books about family. This is all the books about Valentine's Day. Like I had, I had that. But I found that I didn't actually ever use it. Now that I have a very limited amount of picture books in my classroom, I've got about four in here right now. They're Pete the Cat. Uh, now that I have a very limited amount, I have to actually search out that book and it, it makes me actually do more planning because instead of going, eh, I'll just pick a book out of my library, I gotta go, okay, what book am I actually gonna use for this unit? And then I gotta locate the book and then I'll use that book and that book will bring me more value because I know that I need it versus having all of these books and going, mm, I'll just find one, it'll be cool. I've, I've made that mistake in the past for all types of lessons. This is my classroom library. Every book will get used. No book left behind. And I, and you know what? Th these books aren't that expensive, so I'm gonna let kids bring them home and Ziploc bags. And if they, you know, if they get lost, they get lost. Books need to be in kids' hands. My kids can read these books. When I, I found that when I had them use uh, picture books and I would have them read in a center or something, they weren't getting as much value out of it because they couldn't read the books. Yeah, they could look at the pictures and there's a lot of value in that. But I want my students to have their hands on the books, reading the text, writing about the text. I want these books to be things that my students can actually use and get some value out of. So that's my philosophy on my classroom library, how I use it, why I don't have a big library. And again, if you do have a big library, that is fine, but I, I wanna use my uh, school's library and, and use that resource that's available to me. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below, how do you use your classroom library? Do you have a genre themed out library in your classroom that students have access to? Or do you have a smaller library? I'm, I'm interested to find out more about your classroom library. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And every Saturday morning, you'll see my Week in the Life of a Teacher upload where you can follow along my Week in the Life of a Teacher. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I also put stuff on there as well. I'll leave the links down below. Make it a great day, teachers, and see you next time.